little fox. Father's Day. Ian stood at the window. Right outside, a noisy robin fluttered about, but Ian scarcely noticed it. His eyes were focused instead on the backyard garden. Normally, by Father's Day, strawberries that Dad had planted were ripening, and green beans were coiling up their poles. But this year, the garden was just an ugly patch of dirt and weeds. Ian and Mom hadn't planted a thing. Ian closed his eyes, remembering last year's Father's Day celebration. They'd gone to a baseball game, and later Dad had grilled hamburgers. Today is definitely going to be different, Ian thought glumly. It was the first Father's Day since Dad had died, and... Ian! Breakfast! Mom called. Downstairs, Ian poured syrup on his pancakes. Are we doing anything today? He asked blankly. Mom looked up from her plate, quickly brushing away a few tears. Yes, she said briskly. We're going to Meadowbird Sanctuary. It's a beautiful day, and there's a nice trail around the pond. We'll see lots of birds. She paused. Dad loved watching birds. Ian sighed. <sighs> I remember. What's a sanctuary anyway? Ian asked as Mom parked in a gravel lot. I guess you could call it a place of refuge, Mom said. It's land preserved for plants and wildlife to keep them safe and help them thrive. Ian saw some dense woods with trails forking off in different directions. A few people stood near a welcome sign, a mother and a little girl and an older man with binoculars. Looks like a tour's about to start, Mom said. Good. A guide introduced herself as Beth, and the group set off. As they wandered through the woods, Beth pointed out various plants and trees. Ian couldn't keep track of any of the plants' names, except for the poison ivy creeping along the trail. Suddenly, Beth halted and pointed upward. Look! Ian gazed up at the branches of a tall tree. He saw a brown bird near a nest. A mommy bird! The little girl cried. She's feeding her babies! Actually, that's a daddy bird, Beth said. And since today is Father's Day, it's the perfect time to tell you that many birds make great fathers. The man with the binoculars nodded eagerly. Birds actually make much better fathers than mammals do. That's true, Mr. Avery, Beth said. While male mammals rarely feed their young, some male birds bring food to their babies. Plus, village weavers build nests, and emperor penguins keep eggs warm. Did you know that some male songbirds teach their sons how to sing? Yes, Mr. Avery burst out. The white-throated sparrow does that. Ian and Mom exchanged grins. Mr. Avery was certainly very enthusiastic about birds. Dad would love this guy, Ian thought. As they circled the pond, Beth showed them some wading birds. Ian stopped to watch a great blue heron. The tall bird stood silently in shallow water, waiting for fish to swim by. Its legs were so skinny and long, they made Ian think of brittle sticks. Mr. Avery was watching, too. Bird watching requires stillness and patience, he said quietly. But it always brings me delight and peace. After the tour, Ian and Mom bought some lunch and sat outside on a bench. The sun felt warm, and the air inside the sanctuary rang with birds' clear voices. This is Dad's kind of place, Ian said. 
Mom smiled. It sure is. I know what we should do when we get home, Ian said enthusiastically. Mom looked at him. What? Plant some vegetables. Dad would have liked that too. <laughs>